Scientists once invited a bunch of volunteers to have a substance called capsaicin injected into both their hands and when they had their pain measured of course it was 10 out of 10. Uh, but then they had this done again but prior to the injection they had one of their hands rubbed with what they believed was a local anaesthetic and then when the capsaicin was injected it dramatically dropped the level of pain in that hand but the pain level was still 10 out of 10 in the other hand but it turned out it wasn't a local anaesthetic that was rubbed in the hand. It was a placebo. It was like a run-of-the-mill moisturising cream. And when the scientists examined the brain, it turned out that the brain had produced its own version of morphine, known as endogenous opiates, only in the specific region of the brain governing that hand, and not in the region of the brain for that hand or any other part of the brain, just that one region of the brain. And what this kind of study shows us is, yes, the mind impacts the body, but very often your mind impacts your body specifically where your attention is focused. Isn't that amazing?